welcome to Full Frontal. Hello, Cleveland! I'm not in Cleveland, I'm in New York, that's why I had to shout, but I'm heading there tomorrow for the 41st and possibly the last Republican National Convention! <laughs> Conservatella 2016 lurched to a start this morning, mere minutes after party officials put the finishing touches on the seat filler scarecrows. <laughs> By last week, so many Republicans had declined their invitations that all the plausible excuses had been used up, <laughs> leaving only the bizarre made-up bullshit. I noticed that uh, Sarah Palin wasn't on the list. Did she not ask for a speaking role? Uh, no, she, uh, she was asked. It's a little bit difficult because of where she is. We love Sarah. Uh, a little bit difficult because of, uh, you know, it's got a, it's a long ways away. Yeah. You do know about airplanes, right? You know they can be used for other things besides dressing up awful television events or slaughtering wolves from the sky. How messed up must the Republican convention be if Sarah Palin won't attend? This is a woman whose family gatherings make Dothraki weddings look tame. Plus, she actually likes Trump. He's like her brother from another unwed mother. What happened? You know, he won the Second World War in all fairness. It's pretty good. It's more than the Bushes. But I mean by a lot. I don't mean by a little. But that's for 17 people. People don't ever say that. That means our message is unbelievable. Oh, I see. She's mad because Trump stole her word salad spinner. <laughs> but hey, at least Megastar Scott Bayo will be there, <laughs> making this the second time he's watched helplessly as someone jumps the shark. <laughs> with, with the white power movement's orange ally headlining the convention, a lot of big donors are also sitting this one out. Many have publicly pulled support due to comments presumptive nominee Donald Trump has made about Mexicans, immigrants, and Muslims. The Cleveland 2016 host committee sent a letter to casino mogul Sheldon Adelson asking for $6 million to get them on track. Okay, although maybe they shouldn't have let Trump send Adelson a follow-up request via Twitter. <laughs> If the $6 million Jew turns them down, I'm sure they can swing a three-figure deal with Ask Jeeves or sauna pants, the sauna that you wear around your junk. The sauna pants work just like a sauna, creating a moist heat sweating out unwanted excess water around your midsection and thighs, right where you need it the most. You see, that's the problem with pants. They're not hot enough. <laughs> sauna pants, when you can't afford a vasectomy. Now, of course, before a convention can start, the party has to decide what they believe, which they apparently do by locking a bunch of cranky church elders in a room, turning off the air conditioning, and asking them who should go to hell. The GOP platform went ultra-conservative on family values, same-sex marriage, and gender-neutral bathrooms. It's not so much a platform as it is the Republican Party's suicide note. <laughs> if you don't want to read it, and believe me, you don't, here's the Cliff's Notes version. <laughs> You'll pass the quiz. Meanwhile, an attempted coup by the Never Trump Brigade failed worse than turkeys. Scarcely more than an hour into their opening session this morning, the RNC claimed that a malfunctioning printer required a recess. Obviously, we did not stand adjourned for three hours because of a jammed cop here. Yeah, that hasn't happened since the 1996 convention, and we don't like to talk about it. So, okay, to recap, Alaska is a small moon orbiting Saturn. Your printer broke, and the party is super happy about its nominee. Remind me, what is it that you don't like about Hillary? Hillary Clinton is a liar. Yeah, she's told some lies, but none as big as this one. Governor Mike Pence was my first choice. <laughs> oh, bullshit. Truth is, after failing to convince his children to let him pick the concept of tits as his running mate, <laughs> Trump spent an agonizing week trying to decide between the Republican little finger and I guess Roger Sterling during an allergy attack. <laughs> So he thought it was funny to let Chris Christie think he still had a shot. Oh, Chris, honey, he's not really your friend if he makes you feel that way. <laughs> 
Finally, after days of leaks, tweets, faints, dithering, dickering, and generally impressing everyone with his presidential decisiveness, Tremlett emerged from Elsinore to introduce us to his chosen running mate. I've been a very, very, very successful business person. I won in landslides. I won in landslides. I had so many great leaders so many times up to my office. They agreed I'd win New York, I'd win Pennsylvania, I'd win all these places. Boy, am I going to win big with the veterans. I'm a messenger. I'm doing a good job. Nobody in the history of this country has ever known so much about infrastructure as Donald Trump. Okay, so let me just fast forward about a half hour. There. Hillary Clinton, crooked Hillary. Hillary Clinton's Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton's Obama Clinton. Crooked Hillary Clinton and Mike Pence. There it is, Mike Pence. Oh, look at those two BFFs. They're practically spooning. So who is Mike Pence? 86% of the country. Mike Pence was loaned out from Republican Central Casting to play the governor of Indiana, a state known primarily for its stupid number of time zones. It's 10.30 in Indianapolis, 9.30 in Gary, and 1952 everywhere, thanks to Pence. If you're a lady Hoosier, you may recognize him as the governor who inspected your reproductive organs every 30 days to make sure you weren't using them in ways that would make Jesus sad. He's basically the reason Brooklyn is full of Midwesterners. Among his greatest hits, Pence signed a law requiring funerals for fetuses after an abortion or miscarriage. The law was blocked by a federal judge, but not before Pence had closed down every abortion clinic not equipped with a full complement of funeral bagpipers. You know, for the woman's safety. In Pence's state, having a miscarriage could land you in jail for 20 years. So if you're driving through Indiana and the contractions start, cross your legs and don't stop till you're in Chicago. <laughs> Throw in the hit taxpayers took from Pence's anti-LGBT crusade, plus a general reputation for incompetence, and the governor isn't exactly beloved in his own state, as he learned earlier this year when he threw out the first pitch at an Indiana baseball game. Okay, Indiana voters hate Pence as much as Indiana Jones hates snakes. And so, Full Frontal would just like to say, congratulations, Indiana. You just got rid of one of the worst governors you've ever had. I can only imagine how you felt when you heard the news. Paperwork was just filed to officially remove Pence from the governor's race. white basketball team got that one point. And I'm so sorry, New Jersey. You were this close. Not really. We'll be right back.